organic chemistry as tested in chemistry paper 1 between the years of 2018 and 2022. Join us in this video as we present the expected responses to these questions. We begin with question number 12, KCSE Chemistry Paper 1 for the year 2018. When a thin gas is compressed at a high temperature, a solid is formed. A candidate should have the idea of polymerization when he or she reads that statement. So the first part is asking us to give the name of the solid. That is supposed to be the polymer for a thin as a monomer. And we call it polyethene. Or the examiner allows the common name of polythene as well for one mark. Part B of the question asked us to explain why it is not advisable to allow the solid to accumulate in the environment. The reason is that it is non-biodegradable. It is non-biodegradable and therefore it pollutes the environment. We also had the second reason that this solid produces poisonous fumes. This solid produces poisonous fumes when burnt. So it was two marks. Two reasons were therefore needed for the two marks with each reason being awarded one mark. We move on to the year 2019 where the topic organic chemistry was tested as question number four. A monomer has the following structure which is drawn here. This is actually the phenylethene from which we get the polymer polyphenyl Ethene. So the first question, we are told to draw the structure of the polymer that contains only three monomers. This was quite easy. A candidate was supposed to simply draw the monomer to have three repeat units. So here we are, the first monomer or the first repeat unit, we are supposed to do it three times to get that one mark. Quite easy, the second repeat unit, and lastly we have the third repeat unit. This now is our polymer with three repeat units. For part B, a sample of the polymer formed from the monomer has a molecular mass of 49.92. We were asked to determine the number of monomers that formed the polymer. So here, we would start by calculating the relative molecular mass of the monomer. And you can see the structure here. Carbons are 6. 7, 8. So we would multiply 12 by 8. This we should add to hydrogens. Hydrogens are 5, 6 plus 2 that makes 8. So we multiply 1 by 8. When we add these, we are supposed to get 96 added to 8, which is 104. This becomes the relative molecular mass for each monomer. 
to get the number we will then to get the number of monomers we divide the molecular mass given here 4992 by the rmm of each monomer and when we do this we get 48 monomers one mark for the relative molecular mass a half a mark for the division and a half a mark for the number of monomers we are still on the same year 2019 organic chemistry appeared again as question number 11 ethene is prepared in the laboratory by dehydration of ethanol part a the examiner is asking us to name a suitable dehydrating agent used in this process the common one is normally concentrated sulfuric 6 acid a candidate would also talk of aluminium oxide or we can also use phosphoric acid any of those three would give ourselves the one mark now condition necessary for the reaction to occur we have temperature of between 160 to 180 degrees celsius so when we give a range here a candidate normally has an option of giving any figure that falls within the given range. Lastly, we were asked to write the equation for the dehydration process. So here, we have two options. Ethanol has the formula C2H5OH. When it gets dehydrated, we get a thin, which is C2H4 and water. In this first equation, we assume the concentrated sulfuric 6 acid did not take part in the reaction. But we can also include concentrated sulfuric 6 acid as part of the reactants. We have to show the state here as being liquid to mean concentrated. Then we end up forming our ethene C2H4 and water. And then our concentrated sulfuric 6 acid now comes out as aqueous. This is also allowed. So any of those two equations, one mark. Next is chemistry paper 1 for the year 2020 where organic chemistry was tested in question number five in part a we are asked to draw the structural formula of two methyl but two in so we would start with the alkene being but two in it would have four carbons in a straight chain, double bond being between carbon 2 and 3. From there, we are supposed to put a branch of a methyl group on carbon number 2. Because we are drawing the structure, the methyl group must be fully open. And then we now complete the structure by putting in the rest of the hydrogen atoms so that would be the structure for one mark next we are told that bromine water was added to whatever we have up here and then we were now told to state the observation that was made our structure or our compound is unsaturated so the yellow which another candidate can give the color as orange depending on the concentration or brown bromine water 
changes to colorless or is decolorized that would be the observation for one mark we were asked to name the type of reaction that took place and we always tell our students that types of reactions are only two either addition or substitution if saturated compounds are involved it is substitution reaction and if unsaturated compounds are involved types of reactions now are addition we move to the same year 2020 organic chemistry was again tested in number 17 though whatever was tested in number 17 is discussed in chlorine and its compounds in form 3 but the compounds themselves are organic in nature some compounds such as cfc's and ddt are regarded as environmental pollutants give the complete names of cfc's cfc's in full mean chlorofluorocarbons as one word ddt is the short form for dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane ddt one mark for each still in the year 2020 Organic chemistry was yet again tested in question number 20. Compound V reacts with water as shown in the following equation. So we have V reacting with water to give us an alkanol here that has three carbons. So V reacts with water to give propanol this shows that v is actually an alkene with three carbons and therefore v is prop one in even before we answer our questions we need to understand what goes on in the equation so for part a we are asked to give the structural formula of v and as we have just discussed, V is an alkene with three carbons, and we shall put the double bond on carbon one. And then now we complete the structure by putting in the rest of the hydrogens. That is good enough for one mark. Part B, other than use of the catalyst, name another condition necessary for this reaction so for this reaction to occur other than the catalyst we need heat we may also be specific by talking about a temperature of between 250 to 300 degrees celsius and as we have agreed a candidate can give just a single value that lies within the range we may also talk about pressure pressure is between 60 to 70 atmospheres for that reaction to take place finally we are told that this type of reaction is called hydrolysis or hydration you are asked to state another name that can be used to describe it this can be addition reaction and it may also be oxidation reaction the examiner only needed one so a candidate had the option of either addition or oxidation the year 2020 
was full of organic chemistry questions. Let's now look at question number 27, the same year. Figure 4 shows part of the structure of a polymer. And a candidate should know this is actually polyphenyl ethene. We also call it polystyrene. So the first question actually asks us to name the polymer. It is polyphenyl ethene. We have another name for it of polystyrene for that one mark. Now we are asked to draw the structure of the monomer that was used and that is quite easy. A candidate is supposed to only identify the repeat units and here we can see three of them. Then we pick one repeat unit, maybe this one, and introduce a double bond between the carbons that are there. That is an easy way of obtaining the monomer. Quite easy. Though we can also open up this cyclic part to say we have six carbons and five hydrogens. Any of these would be the monomer. Then we were asked to now give use only one of the polymer. Polyphenylethene can be used to make packaging materials. Packaging materials. We can also use it in making insulators and even in making sealing, sealing strips. Any of those would do. We now leave 2020 out and proceed to now the year 2021. Organic chemistry was tested in question number 8. Compound D with the formula C3H4 was reacted with excess, the word is excess, hydrogen chloride gas. The first question is asking us to name compound D. So here, before we name, probably it is prudent that we draw the structure to see how it is. So we have three carbons in a row, but hydrogens are only four. So that would mean that between carbon one and two, we have triple bonds so that carbon one can have the first hydrogen and carbon three can have the remaining three. This makes C3H4. A candidate would also think of another structure where we would have three carbons in a straight line and double bond between carbon 1 and 2 and another double bond between carbon 2 and 3. Then we would complete the structure by putting two hydrogens on carbon 1 and another two hydrogens on carbon 3. So we had two possible names. The first one here would be called prop 1 iron because it has the three triple carbon carbon bond. This other one is now a diene and we call it prop 1 2 diene. Any of those would qualify to be the name of compound D. In part B, we are asked to draw two possible product, uh, structures of the products formed after we've reacted D with excess hydrogen chloride gas. For purposes of this illustration, I will basically use prop 1-ion to demonstrate. So because we are using excess hydrogen chloride, we would have our alkyne breaking all the three triple bonds or well, we shall break two so that we remain with only a single bond here 
The reason being, we are supplying excess hydrogen chloride. So for this case, we would have actually four pair of electrons that we can use for bonding. When we bring in two moles of hydrogen chloride gas, we can then have two chlorine atoms attaching themselves in the middle here and two hydrogens attaching themselves on the outer carbons. That would be the two, the first possible structure. We are told not to name, but it would have been 2,2-dichloropropane. Another candidate would think of a situation where after breaking the triple bond, we would have a structure that has these four bonds or pair of electrons that can be used for bonding. Then one chlorine atom attaches itself to the central carbon, another one attaches itself to the first carbon. And then the two hydrogens, one on the first carbon, another one on the second carbon. This is another possible structure of the product. And we would call it 1,2-dichloropropane. We are still in the year 2021. Organic chemistry was tested again as number 12. Compounds H and J have the following structures. So H is here, and because of the OH group, we can tell it is an alkanol. It is an alkanol with one, two, three, four, five carbons. That is pentan one all. But then, of course, we have a branch here on carbon three, which is a methyl group. So the name would be 3 methyl pentan one all To compound J, it is having a C double OH here. So it is an alkanoic acid with four carbons, making it be called butanoic acid. And surely, the first part of the question asks us to give the names of compound H. H, we've agreed, is 3 methyl pentan 1 all. And J is butanoic acid. We are asked to state conditions necessary for H, an alkanol, and J, an alkanoic acid, to react. Of course, the first one, which is normally a catalyst, is concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. We also need to either heat or warm, or to be specific, temperature of between 30 and 60 degrees Celsius. Of course, we shall form an ester. We now move to the year 2022. Organic chemistry was tested in chemistry paper one as question number five. Part A. The structure of compound A is as follows. We can see the carbons are linked by single covalent bonds, so this is an alkene. But how many carbons do we have? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we've been asked to name that compound. It is an alkene with 10 carbon atoms. So, the name is decane. Next, we are asked to write its empirical formula. Empirical formula shows the simplest ratio of carbon to hydrogen in our compound. So the actual ratio is 10 is to 22 because we have 10 carbons and 22 hydrogens. So from here, we would obtain the empirical formula of C5 
H11. Ask our answer to A Roman 2. We are then told to draw the structure of an alkanoic acid whose molecular formula is C5H10O2. Alkanoic acids usually have C double OH as the functional group. The number of carbons are five. So we would simply draw them in a straight chain and have the OH at the terminal carbon. And then we shall now complete the structure by putting in the other hydrogen atoms. This is what we call pentanoic acid. Lastly, in the year 2022, organic chemistry was tested a second time, but this time as question number 14. Part A, give an example of a natural polymer made of cellulose material. Natural polymers made of cellulose are quite a number. We start with cotton. We have wool. There is sisal. There is paper. And we would even allow wood. Any of those for half a mark. A natural polymer made of a hydrocarbon is rubber which we also call latex. Part B, part of the structure of perspex has been drawn here. So we are once again told to draw the structure of the monomer. And as I always say, it is quite easy to do. The first thing is to identify repeat units. And we can see again we have three. So we will dwell more on one of them, especially this one on the left. Then we introduce double bond on the carbons that are in the repeat units. That gives you the monomer to any polymer quite easily. Two properties of perspex that makes it suitable for use in making lenses. One, it is transparent. Two, it is strong. And we can talk about it being hard as well. Any two for one mark. Each would be awarded half. With that... We are through with a journey, the journey that has taken us through how organic chemistry has been tested for the last five years between the years 2018 to recently 2022. Thank you so much for keeping it right here.